Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some really cool stuff happening in the pipeline with Digibyte and Ren. So I've talked a little bit about Ren in the past as being a kind of bridge for Digibyte between the traditional UTXO world that we live in and the world of decentralized finance, uh, especially a lot of which is happening on Ethereum. Um, that's probably the best way to sum up how Ren is going to be used for Digibyte in the future. Now, Ren have gone and uh, basically made a post here. We've actually been working alongside them for a little while now, getting this all ready to go. Um, they've politely requested that we didn't go and make any kind of announcements before they were ready to discuss this though. So the really cool part is they're ready now. So Ren and multi-chain. So multi-chain is basically uh, a certain aspect of the Ren protocol, which will allow them to implement a bunch of different things. For example, such as Dogecoin, and Digibyte. So they've mentioned here, they've gone and open sourced it. It's now available for you to go and have a nosy at. Or if you happen to be from something else, say for example, Vertcoin, you can now go and have a look there and submit a pull request for them to add support for it. Uh, so they've said here, Dogecoin was the first one and Digibyte are the, the first ones to actually open a pull request. So they themselves did the Dogecoin implementation, I believe, but the Digibyte one is one that uh, I've been working alongside of uh, a couple of other people. Yoshi especially has been helping out. Um, so really just want to thank them for that, uh, for all of their involvement there. Um, there's been a bunch of other people too. So what we can do is we can go here and we can see they've uh, been super busy here. Excuse me. Um, and who have we got here? I believe this is... Yeah, here we go. Brendan was the other person. Now, Brendan's also been involved with creating the uh, Chrome extension uh, that a few of you are familiar with and using. So that's really quite cool to see Brendan getting involved in this kind of manner as well. Um, so yeah, we put together the basics. Now, look, clearly... Yoshi has been super duper busy with all of these here. Um, they've gone and accepted it. They've made some changes themselves, uh, gone and merged it and said it looks good to them. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, clearly Yoshi's been super busy with this, which is fantastic. So again, thank you to Yoshi for all of this. Uh, now they do go into a bit of details here specifically on their uh, medium post about what it means, how it's going to um, affect their project, how it's going to affect Digibuy and other projects in the future. Um, worth going and having a bit of a read if you are interested in decentralized finance and Digibyte's participation in it. Uh, so we've got here as well, uh, Jackie has been working on DigiChat, which is really cool to see. Um, so actually, let me bring this up. We'll show you the screenshots, um, some of which are already uh, a work in progress. You can purchase Digibyte directly from here. So we don't have a lot of details to go with for DigiChat at the moment. However, it is really exciting to see this kind of thing uh, being created on top of Digibyte, further pushing, <laughs> empowering people with, with basically the decentralized blockchain. Jackie here has specifically said um, that it's currently off waiting for Google, which is really exciting to see. Can't wait to find out more about that really soon. Wanted to kind of bring that to your attention as well. Uh, Marvin here as well has been doing some work on the Rosetta node. So this is cool. We can see here um, it is currently uh, he says here, syncing reliably, which is really cool. Um, it says here, saving blocks for easy usability and faster response time. So this is what Rosetta is going to uh, empower, I suppose. Now, a lot of you will remember that Rosetta is something that Coinbase have come out with. There's a number of different components there. So Yoshi has also been working on um, the implementation of that for us um, with the SDK. Marvin's been doing the Digibyte specific aspects of this uh, in the node.js, which is really cool. Um, and they're all kind of coming together and it looks like Digibyte is going to be one of the earlier, if not the first, to have this all completely built up for Coinbase to allow easier implementation with Rosetta. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, to be honest, to keep people kind of in the loop, uh, as far as I'm aware, this will not guarantee any kind of listing there but it's kind of a nice gesture regardless so for people who have been asking uh what's happening in terms of digibyte listing on coinbase as far as i'm aware they are still doing investigation their due, due, due diligence and that kind of thing um no word on what's actually happening though and i think that's pretty cool i'm excited for it
Anyway, bit of an update for you there. That's going to be all from me for today. Hope you've enjoyed this. Consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit the share button. You can reach me in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'm on Twitter at DGB underscore chilling. I'll talk to you in the next video, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.